these are the stoic ways to get a woman obsessed before you come here complaining how toxic this is and say anything let's just get rid of one thing and just know fast so that after we are aware of the reality now we can dive deeper for that is how everything works let's first deal with what reality is reality is the moment you will show high interest in any lady that is you that is when you will realize that she will be less interested in you or she might not even take you seriously she will turn your deal down so we all know that is the reality but anytime you will be not interested in any lady that you are conversing with you are just talking to and your mind is not gauging how you will make a move on Hannah so you are not really into her that sense that i want to make a move on Hannah is not present so your concentration is on something else maybe the preposition that you are delivering to her maybe it's about something that you are talking about maybe it's about the project that you will do in the evening so it's about something else that is when that one lady that you don't really like maybe you perceive her as low value she's not your type she is the lady who will be highly interested in you and that is just a fact so we have to get ahead of that fast and we have to make peace with that fast that one lady that you don't really care about that you don't really want to date that maybe you think she's not your type she's just average and you're not yet to have a relationship with her just having a normal conversation that is the one lady who will be highly interested in you now before we go into the psychological stoicism so that you can understand how you can be ahead of women emotionally so that maybe they can be obsessed with you not with a bad intention and you're not doing that for evil but for a good intention before we dive deeper with the psychological way of doing things let's first understand why women will be obsessed with you interested in you when you don't really show interest in her it may be don't to date her and you're concentrating on something else let's understand now the subconscious mind of a lady okay women are attracted to uncertainty okay in the front end game meeting with hana conversing with her she already has a perceived image an idea of who you are and maybe maybe that idea 99.9% is totally not you are we fully aware of that that idea she thinks she thinks this is you okay and this is in her head this is who isaac is this is how he operates i mean i have a fantasy an image split of images i have a certain identity i have identified isaac in a certain state of being we can have kids we can have a relationship i fantasize about him i have different types of thoughts about him but reality is hannah has never gotten a chance to understand your full identity you are really you she's only in love with an identity that she perceived and understood about you maybe you did something then she analyzed your action or your behavior in a certain way and that made her it made her feel attracted to you and now that made her feel obsessed with you and that image will continuously be coming up it will always be in her mind because she hasn't fully got to know you on a human to human level so she is living on a perceived image of you that doesn't exist in you this is you isaac but she thinks this is you so she is obsessed with this image that makes her 
to continuously feel attracted to you for you are delivering what she perceived of you you can only stop delivering what she perceived of you when you now start interacting she gets to know you on a human to human level you now finally get into her you want to date her you want her to be your girlfriend your lady that is where you remove that perceived image about you in her head and that perceived image goes away with the attraction so she gets to identify the isaac that she never knew existed and now the obsession fades away and now you think you did something wrong no it's a perceived image that was finally got rid by your real image of you, Isaac, that she finally got to understand and now she's not interested in you. But at first sight, she was the one who was highly interested in you and consistently playing different types of images about you, not knowing who you really are, but I just have a perceived image, a perceived thought and it will consistently exist in my thought in my thinking in my brain it becomes a memory i rely on that pattern every time i meet with you you don't show me your real image i still rely on a perceived image about you isaac which the obsession now is constant and of women operate on how her thought makes her feel i think about this when i am with isaac but the thing is, you only think about that because Isaac is delivering an image you perceived about him for not being available allows her to add a different fantasy, a different image that it doesn't connect with the reality and the logic. And that is what will allow her to fantasize about you, to think about you, to get obsessed with you. For I have to imagine something that isn't in reality, for that will make me feel a certain way about you. And now I create a certain perception about you. But it has nothing to do with reality. It has everything to do with my thoughts and how, th and how those thoughts will do to my brain and will do to me, which creates an intense energy, feelings of attraction towards you and your unavailability sustains that energy in me. For I do not know who you really are. Rather, I live in a fantasy that doesn't really exist in you. And that is how I finally, fully get obsessed with you. You end up realizing that women end up getting obsessed with toxic men. Okay, maybe he's just an F boy. The F boy can't stay for so long for the lady to learn him. So the uncertainty, the image that she perceived about him confirms that this guy is the person I think he is. And because that is uncertainty, I can't read who he really is. I still have a feeling that what I think about him is who he is for he delivers what I want him to deliver. So the moment you want to make anything serious, you want a committed relationship, now it's more of commitment. Now there is reality. Now she needs to reciprocate. You understand? At this very moment, there is logic. There is reality. Reality and logic is removing the identity she had about you, the fantasy. And removing a fantasy removes what? it removes that obsession and now you thought you did something wrong no you just removed that feeling of obsession now she can't deal with reality now i wanted you to deal with that and understand that first so we are done with part one we are done with part two before i continue i want you to understand one thing you have no idea again you have no fucking idea how she has framed you zoned you categorized you like you do not know the perceived image of who you are in her eyes in the front end game you do not know a perceived image of who you are in her eyes in the front end game so you might not know that how you are acting is either removing the attraction towards you or it's confirming the perceived image about you. You have no clue. She's the only one who is aware of that perceived image. Are we done with that? You can never expect 
a consistent, committed relationship with a lady who showed the first high interest. Are you getting my point? Like she was highly interested in you and then she made a move and then maybe she told you that she liked you and you can have a relationship, right? Or maybe she's acting in a certain way that you ended up noticing that she's really into you. Women will always want men to notice. The higher I am interested in you, Isaac, then I flat with you. I want to have a relationship with you. This is when everything will crumble the quickest. Oh, I, I, she, I, she just was flirting with me. I just noticed that she was into me. She will subconsciously act that way because she likes you. And that is not what she wants. She only wants you to deliver that image that she thinks exists in you. But you are not aware of the image that she has about you. So, when she is highly interested in you, 99% of the women will never make it a serious committed relationship. So every time you meet with the lady, then she is highly interested in you, and then she makes a move directly, indirectly, she flirts with you. Most of the time, it's just a behavior she has so that when you reciprocate, she can find a reason of turning your deal down, breaking your ego, that is your inner confidence, because that will convince her, okay, again, that will convince her that she is actually high value. When a woman is highly interested in you, she has something, she has a belief that you are high value than her. Now, women have a problem dealing with self-esteem and confidence. So when a man is high value than me, is Hannah, then there is a higher chance that he won't give me a chance. But I will have to find a reason to turn him down first before he, get, before he gets rid of me, for that will increase my confidence and my self-esteem. And I will get rid of that worry in me. So when I show that I am highly interested in you, then I am fully aware that there is a higher chance that we can't date. We are not on the same level. And now she is high value than you. She, ha she can finally get an ego of walking away from you and convincing herself, actually, he made a move on me, but I wasn't into him. He thought I was flirting with him. So it's just a psychological trick ahead of you men. The mistake that most of you men make is, she was acting this way, she was flirting with me, she was into me, I noticed. So you are analyzing what already happened. But it's in the past, it just happened, it's just a memory. Why are you analyzing a memory? A memory is supposed to serve you as a way of gaining an experience so that you can get maybe knowledge and not a false knowledge. So because she was flirting with, with you, okay, and then maybe you noticed, it doesn't confirm, it's what she wants. It just confirms that is what just happened and it was just what is and it's not about you are supposed to act or respond in a certain way stop analyzing situations and then you act on them and then when she walks away you complain a woman will be highly interested in you when you reciprocate she will walk away fucking yeah she will because your analyzation confirmed her thought about you i think when i act this way he will respond he will reciprocate he will show love but that will fix my feelings about you. It doesn't confirm that I really am willing to have a committed relationship with you. It's not easy for a lady to commit. That is just the reality. But she will be willing to have fun with you and not take anything serious. For that consistently creates a fantasy in her head. But the moment you talk logic, anything serious, I'm doing this work, I'm fixing this vehicle, and she can see it, that is just the logic, the reality she's looking at and she doesn't want she doesn't want to experience that she only wants to experience the fantasy she had about you when she was highly interested in you yeah i know you're pissed you should be because those are just facts let's talk about the psychological stoicism that gets women now obsessed with you okay this is the one trick that i don't want you to use for evil i want you to use this for a good intention and i also want you to understand this as it is again understand this as it is the moment you start to analyze that is when it gets complicated 
when it gets complicated, you will be fucked when you try to apply it in logic. Now that Isaac, you you reciprocated the love and the care to Hannah that you were dating, and eventually it happened, then she walked away, right? And it already happened. Like most of you ask, what can I do? How can I act in a specific way so that I can get her back? How can I act in a perfect image to fulfill what she wants? She walked away, but then I want her back. What can I do? Which actions or behavior can I apply to get her back? <laughs> space Jess, I don't know, Space Jet or Space something like that, Space Jet asked, give us an insight of how to tell when a woman is in, is in the urge, she is in the urge, she is in the mood, so that I can know when to make a move on her. Ah. <laughs> you worry too much of what I should do. How am I supposed to act? How am I supposed to behave? What should be? Okay? I must know what will be so that I can know how to act for me to get a result of what should be space jet <laughs> your thought is always moving the thought is always in the movement it's always looking for something to analyze i want to do this to fix this to fix that for what is is not the right thing what it should be is the right thing it's always moving it's always fixing something it's always must find a reason it must it must fix the thing you think it is a problem okay fine you reciprocated the love and the care. She was highly interested in you, right? But then, in the process of dating, getting intimate, she just walked away on you. But remember, she was the one who showed first. Uh, who, she was the one who showed you that she was highly interested in you, right? Huh. Let me give you the answer to this. The moment you start analyzing that memory, as a problem it can't fix your problem again the moment you start analyzing that memory as a problem it can't fix your problem are you getting my point she walked away right she showed her interest right it happened in the past right it is a memory right you are identifying it as a problem right that can never fix your problem you can't use a memory to fix an existing problem. Memory is an action or a feeling that your mind will record from a certain experience when that experience was supposed to give you knowledge. It will give you knowledge, but it will record the memory. That memory exists in your brain. Remember, this is just my insight. That memory will exist in your brain. And your brain will operate on a specific rhythm because you've been consistently operating on a certain manner for you expect a certain result. So you have a specific pattern. So you are operating on a pattern that is fully relied or fully, or fully, fully relying on a memory. So, you broke up with Hannah, rather Hannah walked away from you, and then you must be the problem. You, you, you never acted the right way, right Isaac? So you need to act the right way so that either you can get her back or the next lady can never walk away from you. Why are you always the problem? When you become a problem, you can never fix a problem because you are using your memory to fix an existing problem but there isn't really a problem it's just what happened and it was supposed to happen so that you can experience and then you can gain knowledge but when you use a memory to re retrieve information on a biased feeling you are always the problem this is when you get false knowledge and now your pattern is operating on a false knowledge and you are always the problem, consistently fixing yourself for you expect an ROI, return on investment. I have worked on myself, I expect this. 
Because that is the investment. Ha! Huh. Do you know what you are doing? You are finding order. You created disorder, so you are finding order. Now, that removes your whole identity. But she felt attracted to you because of the identity that exists in you. Even when a perceived image wasn't delivered on your side, there is another lady who will fully be attracted to you by your identity. But now working on yourself, because those women that you dated made you think that you are the problem, removes the identity that allows other people to fully relate with you. Fixing yourself logically. And I told you to go against the society psychologically. You don't need to do this to fix yourself. Be in a very specific, perfect way for her. You do it for yourself. I want to have six pack for her. No, you can't have six pack for her. Okay, when she walks away, what will be the work of that six pack? You use six pack to get another lady? Hmm. I've been going to the gym and a lot of women have been interested in me. Yeah, that is the feedback loop. It is supposed to happen. You are supposed to go through that experience and you're not supposed to analyze everything that happens. You just have to use it as an experience of gaining knowledge and not programming yourself to behave and act on a false knowledge, which is your pattern. Thought is always controlling your thinking. Because you thought about something, doesn't mean that you should act on it. That is just the work of thought. Or she walked away, then I must fix this. No, she walked away because you analyzed her high interest as a genuine intention and a genuine interest so that was the work of the thought and now it's coming back to you you are the problem you have to fix this <laughs> yeah are you a new member welcome on board